She's got to be here somewhere. Don't worry. I'll find her. You got this, April. It's just like Sensei said. Stick to the shadows. Use unusual movements. Did you see something? Stay above or below the line of sight. Nothing over here, Chief. And when all else fails, think invisible thoughts. Gotcha! So much for that. Oof. Well done, April Kun. You made it all the way across the lair before being spotted. Your stealth training serves you well. <laughs> yeah, but you can't hide from Dr. Feindenstein. I uh, can't believe Mikey tagged her before I did. Great job, April. You're getting pretty good. Thanks, Donnie. But I'm tired of training. My dad's still missing. He needs my help, and I just feel so useless. When do I get to go out there and do something? Tell you what. You can come on a mission with me. Really? Nothing too crazy, but I'm heading out to the junkyard for some parts. You want to come with? Take your Kunoichi skills for a spin? Yeah, a junkyard. Every girl's dream date. Aw, how romantic. Heh, <laughs> don't listen to them. It's not a date. If it were a date, I'd take you to... I mean, I've never planned a date for us. Anyway, it's not just any junkyard. It's a top-secret military junkyard. Which is why you shouldn't go. Come on, Leo! I'm sorry, April. It's too risky. You're not ready. Ah, uh, bummer, dude! She can handle it, Leo. We'll just pick up a diode module for my new invention. No combat. Just a little stealth. Yeah, which I kicked butt at today. I wouldn't go that far. Mikey still spotted you. You didn't spot me. Oh, burn! Yeah, <laughs> she went there. Leo, it's fine. I've never had a problem at the junkyard before. You never brought April before? Hey, that's it. Come on, Donnie, let's go. Thanks, Donnie. This is going to be fun. You bet. What's with the wig? Shadows aren't the only way to hide. Splinter says a true Kunoichi uses deception to hide in plain sight. With this wig, if anyone uh, sees me, the main thing they remember uh, will be wrong. Well, if anyone sees me, no one's going to be talking about your hair. So let's save hiding in plain sight for another day, and just stick with regular old hiding in the shadows. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. Never thought I'd say that about a junkyard. Then again, I never thought I'd be spending my free time in the sewers, so never say never. This is where the military stashes its failed prototypes. Cutting-edge stuff. Does any of it work? It does when I'm done with it. Aha! Perfect! This laser cannon ought to have a diode module strong enough for my needs. Boy, am I glad you're not an evil genius. Wait, you think I'm a genius? I mean, so do I. But... I mean, thanks. Do you hear something? Weird. Usually this place is empty. They must have upped their security. Sounds like a challenge. Bring it on. No. We should go. Aw, but I'm Kuno itching for some action. Get it? I see what you did there. But clever wordplay doesn't make it a good idea. We're gonna have to scrap our plans. Now who's playing with words? <gasps> Donnie! Freeze! April! No! No, 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 no! Hi, uh, Leo? I hate to say it, but you might have had a point. What's your name? I told you, it's January McAndrews. Sure it is. Who are you working for, Miss McAndrews? No one. I only snuck in here because my stupid friends dared me. And did your friends also dare to take highly specific components from our equipment? What, that? Isn't it all just junk? This is a top secret government facility. You expect me to believe you didn't realize that? What? No way! I'm just messing around. You know how teenagers are, with our loud music and no respect for rules. We're the worst. 
Yes, but most teenagers don't carry around custom cell phones and ninja weapons. <laughs> ninja weapons? What ninja weapons? That's, um, jewelry. Donnie, please be working on a plan. Hey, this place is cool. How come you never invited me? You know how much I love junk. Way to go, Donnie. Everyone knows the way to a girl's heart is to get her captured by the army. This is serious, Raph. Where's April? They've got her in there. Big deal. We face down giant mutant monsters. These guys don't look so tough. The difference is, these aren't bad guys. We don't want to hurt them. But if they see us, the government's going to want to know more about us. Well, then they'll just have to read my blog. You have a blog? Mikey, our existence is a secret, remember? It's okay. I just talk about TV shows. Shh. Who's there? <gasps> oh, real good, Mikey. Hey, you guys yelled first. They're headed this way. We need a distraction. Oh, cool. Look at that. No, Mikey. A distraction for them. Actually, that could work nicely. Look out. Stop them. Um, are armored battle machines supposed to blow up that easily? Guess that's why it was in a junkyard! Ho oh, ho! Can we do that again? For once, I like the way Mikey thinks. What the blaze is going on out there? Enemies activated one of the prototypes, sir. But they were not in the vehicle. They're here. Gotta keep stalling. We're under attack. Explain. If I can just use my phone... You must think I'm pretty stupid. If you don't tell me, who you work for, right now, things are gonna get ugly. Sensei says the lie that works best is the one they want to believe. So, okay, I'm part of a ring of spies. Finally, the truth. That's right. And you know that laser cannon you've got out there? We're going to steal it. All units, they're here for the XJ-17. Don't let them get it. Hope this works. All units flank the XJ-17 laser cannon. Nice, April. April? Where? She's still in there, but she's clearing us a path. Breach! Breach! Now what? Smoke everywhere! Still no visual! Hey, you got- I love it when they don't look up. <coughs> Sorry! Shut down cameras and delete security footage? Yes, please. The forecast for today is cloudy. You just can't help yourself, can you? Was we? Gah! Not so fast! T phone self destruct! Booyakasha! Gah! Again? Real sorry! Uh, Booyakasha? Where is she? This place is so confusing. Phew. Glad it's not just me. Hey, you're probably still the most confused. They're over here. Uh oh. Out of smoke bombs. Mikey? Don't look at me! Donnie says I can't have any more till I learn to respect them. Whatever that means. So now what? Uh, run? Whoops, dead end. No fair! Is this hallway just for tricking people? Stop! Gotcha, you, you little wig. Kill the lights. <laughs> I'm on it! Huh. I was kind of hoping it'd be darker. Yeah, me too. It's okay. We can take these guys. Sure, if we want the government to be hunting us along with the Krang and the Foot Clan. And Snakeweed, and Spider Bites, and Baxter Stockman, and... Okay, we have a lot of enemies, I get it. Being a brunette didn't suit me anyway. Phew. Alright, let's turn on the dark. The lights went out. My wish came true! Okay, okay, now I want a skateboarding pony. Time for some shadow boxing. <laughs> Good one, bro! Not as bad as usual, anyway. Ow! Hey! It's me, you nincompoop! Hey! Can't be too careful! Did you find you-know-who? You mean April- Don't say her name! They might hear! Oh. Uh, if anyone is listening, I, I was going to say apricot. Ow! Come on! Guys, in here! Hey! Who's saving who here? Sorry I got you into this, April. And we didn't even get the diode module. You mean this? 
I snagged it on my way out. April, you're the best! I am very disappointed, April. I expect such behavior from the boys. But you... You always struck me as a bit wiser than that. I'm sorry, Sensei. I just got so tired of hearing how I'm not ready. But I guess Leo was right. Not quite. I did underestimate you, April. You'd have been proud of her, Sensei. She handled it like a real Kunoichi. Thanks. But I'd be fine with a little more training before my next mission. Guys, it's finished! My latest invention! The Laser Pizza Slicer! And it wouldn't have been possible without April. Wait, that's what you were building? I know it sounds crazy, but watch this! The pizza! No! Okay, uh, I may need to adjust the settings a bit. A planet where fruits and vegetables eat people? Crenshaw, that's ridiculous. Now go scout out that alien orchard. Uh, how many hours of this are you gonna force on us? All of them. The Space Heroes Marathon only airs once a year. Don't worry, by hour five, you'll be totally into it. No! What happened? Ha! <sighs> we got lucky. Donnie, what's taking so long? You gotta fix it! Sorry, Leo! A storm's coming in. Reception's gonna be spotty till it's over. Ah, uh, nature ruins everything. Leonardo, have I not taught you to respect nature? Too often, man treats the natural world as something to be conquered, but it is harmony with nature that brings peace, and with it, strength. Consider the tree in our dojo. A single grate provides water and sunshine, yet it survives and perseveres. That is why I meditate beneath that tree. It reminds us that while we may not have a place in the world of men, we are all a part of nature. Over these many years, it has been a great source of peace for me. Hi, Sensei. I get all that, but I've been looking forward to the Space Heroes Marathon for weeks. I just want the TV back. Yo, the TV's back! This is Carlos Chang O'Brien Gambe. I'm here on 85th Street where a block has been taken over by sudden mysterious plant growth. You have to see it to believe it. <laughs> On a more serious note, authorities have lost contact with the police and firefighters sent in to investigate. Whoa, looks like we better check this out. So much for harmony with nature. No, Leonardo. I suspect there is nothing natural about this. Yikes! Talk about an urban jungle! April, maybe you should wait in the shell razor. You need me to do the talking in case there's any people running around. Besides, it's just a bunch of plants. Eek! Yeah! Lesson learned. Plants are sensitive. Uh-oh. These look familiar. They're the pods Snakeweed uses to turn people into fertilizer. Snakeweed! I had a feeling he'd be involved. What tipped you off? Was it that he's a giant plant and these are giant plants? Whoa! How'd you know? That was spooky. What happened? What's going on? Uh, let's just say it's the greenhouse effect. Come on, we've got to go. This is bad. These buildings must be full of people trapped in Snakeweed's pods. Well, if we estimate 30 buildings on the block, 8 floors per building, 20 units per floor, 3 people per unit, we'll never find them all in time! Then I'll save you the trouble by destroying you! Time for some gardening. Good thing we've all got some green thumbs. Ugh, sometimes I want to hit you more than the bad guys. Booyakasha! Huh? Guys! Little hell! Coming right up, bro! Oof! Guys! When Snakeweed takes damage, the other vines do too! They're linked somehow! So you're saying we should keep hitting the plant guy? Gee, thanks! I never would have figured that out. Why you gotta turn people into fertilizer? That's just wrong, dude. You used to be human. Ugh. Me? Human? Ha! That was lifetimes ago. Now I'm all weed. And do you know what weeds do? We spread. I may be the plant, but I'm putting you in the ground. 
Lanier is consulting experts before ordering further action. How does that make you feel? What was that? Give a camera on it. This is April O'Neil for Channel 6 News. Hey, dream on, kid. Oh, I missed it. Where are you going, jerkweed? Had enough already? You can't win, turtles. This is just the beginning. Soon there will be more like me. We will conquer the humans and reclaim this world. Wait, he said there'd be more like him. What's that supposed to mean? Who knows? He's got sap for brains. He was up to something in that building. Something's up there. Some kind of flower bud. Snakeweed's getting away, and you're stopping to look at flowers. My guess is it's full of spores to grow more snakeweeds like him. That's how he's going to conquer the humans. If the storm picks up, who knows how far the wind could take them? Donnie, you and Raph get up there and stop that thing. Mikey and I will attack the root of the problem. Wait, I got one. We'll nip it in the bud. Uh, technically, we're going after the bud. Donnie, what's going on? Did you find more pods? New priorities, April. You'd better hang back where it's safe. Gotcha. And you'd better stay in the shadows. A lot of looky-loos out here. Done gossiping with your girlfriends? She's not my... Uh, I'm just keeping the team up to speed. Sure. Now, let's see. The best way through this lobby would be... Not to stand around talking about it. Gah! That was dumb, Raph. You didn't even have a plan. Tell you what, when I'm done saving the world, you can tell me all about your cute little plans. Uh, don't look now, but the plants are getting mad. Oh, really? Let's see just how mad they can get. Woohoo! Who needs an elevator? Snakeweed went that way. Whoa, what is this place? Just what I was afraid of. Central Park. Keep your eyes peeled. It won't be easy finding snakeweed in a place like this. Yeah, it's like looking for a plant in a... Uh, a plant stack. You mean a needle in a haystack. Who would put a needle in a haystack? That sounds dangerous. I'll show you how dangerous. You're in my world now, turtles. Well, at least finding him wasn't that hard. Oof, let's not do that again. You kidding? We should sell tickets. There it is. Now we've got to be careful. You be careful. I'm ending that thing. No! Oof, what are you doing? Saving you from messing up. You can't just smash the bud open. You'll release the spores. How about these? Can I smash these? Snakeweed, prepare to be chopped salad. I don't think so. Boom! How you like that, Snakey Wakey? Ha 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 ha! That's not me! Ah, uh, no fair! Enough! Mikey, that's it. We're turtles. Duh, Leo. Of course we're turtles. How hard did he hit you? No, I mean this park isn't only his world. We're all part of nature, and nature doesn't play favorites. Whoa! Are you telling me we have our own pond? You look hungry. Have a mud pie. Gah! Get back here! Where are you? Ah! Sinking! Can't move! Aha! Got you! Ugh. Ugh. You should have let me smash things. Maybe sometimes you could try to think before you hit? Whoa! The vines are weakening. Leo and Mikey must be winning! Oh no! It's blooming! Okay, you're the boss. If we can't attack it, what do we do? Contain it! There! Steady... Steady... And now! Got it! Yeah, but for how long? Nice job, Mikey! Let's wrap this up! You fools! It's too late! By now, the wind has carried my spores far and wide! Now what? We let nature take its course. No! You can't stop me! We will prevail! You all are doomed! <laughs> You're molt, Snakeweed. Whoa! Nice! Were you saving that one? Huh. Okay. Phew. It's over. You did it, guys. Time to vanish. Snakeweed is dust. Leo, 
The reception's back and the Space Heroes Marathon is still on. That's okay. You guys watch whatever you want. It's my turn! I put up the satellite dish! Guys, look out! Our snacks! You were right about that nature stuff, Sensei. It really saved our shells tonight. I am pleased to hear that, Leonardo. Would you like to meditate? I like that. Ah, oh, real stay-at-home dads of Poughkeepsie is on. No, there's a boxing championship on the sports network. Give me that. We're watching science documentaries or I'm laying the smack down. Thanks, Sensei. This is peaceful. <sighs> I'm going to bed. If I don't get enough REM sleep, I'm going to be off all day. Careful, Mikey. You know how your imagination runs away from you when you watch scary movies alone. Ah, uh, give me some credit, bro. <laughs> A few brain-eating undead ain't no thing. My zombies. Whoa, sick. Those sleepyheads are missing out. Don't, don't pet that. It's a zombie cat. <laughs> Classic mistake. Aw, oh, no, dude! They're zombies! Uh, go for the head! <laughs> that zombie can't hurt me without his precious arms. What? No! <laughs> Leo thought that would scare me. <laughs> As if. <laughs> hey, bro! <laughs> Who needs sleep, right? You up for a little late night skate run? What's wrong with you? Do you know what time it is? I uh, guess that's a no. Booyakasha! Ah, <sighs> better. Just had to take my mind off of zombies. Oh, no way. Uh, sorry, Z dudes. Gotta go. Oh man, they've got friends. Uh, uh, they're everywhere. Ah, guys, zombies. Mikey. I told you this would happen. It was just a bad dream. Wait, I thought you went out skateboarding. I did, and there was a full-on zombie apocalypse. For real. They tried to eat my brain. Talk about a light snack. Mikey, it was all in your head. Yeah, zombies aren't real. They're rooted in Haitian voodoo folklore that has nothing to do with the horror movie tropes popularly associated with zombies. Will you stop? I'm trying to stay mad at Mikey. Enough! We must not be so quick to ignore a potential threat. As ninja, we seek to exploit this weakness in others. But we must be vigilant ourselves. Are you saying we should... Investigate! Perhaps what Michelangelo saw is no cause for alarm, but we ignore a warning at our peril. Now go! Thanks a lot, Mikey. Still nothing. Oh, that's a shocker. Oh, you gotta believe me! It was like a never-ending zombie conga line! Oh yeah? Did they look like this? Or this? No, they looked like that! Unbelievable. What, that those are zombies? No! Then Mikey was right! Well, either way, time to smash some skulls. No, look! They're carrying stuff! That's when do zombies go shopping! Power consoles? Dissemination grids? Nanoprocessors? This is no trip to the convenience store! This is a mad scientist's wish list! Someone sounds jealous! Weird! They weren't carrying any of that before! We better find out where they're taking it. Told you this was big! Okay, I admit there's something going on here. But I don't think these are exactly zombies, Mikey. Then they're infected mutants, like in that movie Toxic Tomorrow! Mikey, uncool. We're mutants. Right. Sweet! They must get so many channels! Or... They're using these to broadcast the signal that's controlling all these people! Wow! The humans that are in the state noise unconscious are very effective at bringing to Krang that is which is the equipment no desired by Krang. Indeed, Krang, soon planet which is known as Earth will be known as a planet which is ruled by Krang. No! You can't do this! 
I won't let you! Crank, take the human which is known as Dr. Salone and do the thing that the time has come for doing of. Crank shall do this thing. Well, that clears everything up, I think. Where are they taking that doctor lady? We gotta help her! You're not supposed to wake a sleepwalker. Who knows what would happen if we break the machine while they're dialed in? It could be like pulling the drive out of a computer without ejecting it first. Good point. We better talk to that scientist. You have served the purpose that is the purpose that Krang intended. The usefulness so that is which is you is that point that is an, an ending. What? What are you saying? Krang does not know how Krang can say what Krang has said in a way that is clearer than Krang has already said it. Hi. Uh, don't worry. We're the good guys. Thank you for saving me. You're, uh, dirtless? It's a long story. Considering how my life has been lately, that's not strange at all. I'm Dr. Annie Sloan. You can call me Annie. What exactly were you working on here, Annie? I was developing remote brain scanning technology to recreate people's dreams. But the Krang made me use my research to control people's dreams. And from there, to control sleeping people. They forced me to build that thing out there. Now they want to use my dream machine as a model to build an even bigger one. They'll be able to control the whole city. See, we gotta smash it. That could damage the sleepwalkers' brains. It would be like disconnecting a drive from your computer without ejecting it. Ha! Huh, see? I don't suppose you built an off switch. They didn't want me to and they never left me alone with the machine. But I figured out a way. This program will safely wake everyone up, then trigger a self-destruct sequence. Perfect. Just plug it in and it does the rest. But make sure you get everyone out. The self-destruct part could get... Uh, explodey? Got it. Oh, uh, you never saw us, okay? We're kinda not supposed to let people know we exist. Yeah, well, I wasn't really supposed to help aliens enslave a bunch of New Yorkers either. Your secret's safe with me. Pack up the sleeping bags! The slumber party's over! Uh, is it just me? Or are the sleepwalkers coming after us now? A bunch of slow-moving, out-of-shape people who aren't even awake? Excuse me if I'm not shaking with fear. Ah, uh, dude! Didn't the zombie movies teach you anything? It doesn't matter if they're weak. They get you cause there's so many of them. Lucky for you guys, I'm a zombie expert. So I know just what to do. Bash them in the head! Mikey, they're not actually zombies. We're trying to save them, not hurt them. Oh, right. In, in that case, the zombie expert says... Run! Run? Look how slow they are. Still haven't gotten to us. So if we can't hit them, then what? They don't seem to be doing much. I think we can just push through them without hurting them. Ha! Get around that sort of zombie, dude! Excuse me, coming through. <coughs> Crank droids in the crowd! Now we're talking. Don't let me disturb you, ma'am. Uh-oh, Leo. I know, I know! Oh, boy. This is a lame way to go. Tell April I love her! I mean, uh, tell her I'm very fond of... or I have feelings that, while complicated... Tell her yourself, bro! Cause that was getting too long to remember anyway. I told you guys! You can't just walk into a zombie horde! You gotta stay on the move! The good thing about zombies is they don't climb! Aw, oh, man! They break all the rules. I've got it. Donnie, give me the flash drive. I don't know. I should probably handle it. Could be complicated. She said you just have to plug it in. I can get there, I know it. You know what, Donnie? Mikey was right to drag us out here. And he was right about running from the zombies. Maybe we should stop doubting him and listen. All right, here you go. Boo, Yakasha! Ha! And he sticks the landing. The crowd goes wild. He did it! Now we've got to get these people out of here. 
Crank must stop by stopping at a plan that is important to Crank. Unplug the device used by the ones who are called the Turtles. Hey! Zombie sleepwalker whatever's! Over here! Come on, hurry up! I wish they were those fast zombies. They're waking up! They're gonna see us! We've got no choice. We've gotta lead them out of here. Don't worry. I got this. Everyone, follow me! Hurry! We have to get out of here! Fast! Whew. Great job, little bro. Now let's go. This is that which is known as not good. I was right about Michelangelo being right. Perhaps next time you will think twice about ignoring a warning, even one from your little brother. I can't believe if it weren't for Mikey's crazy zombie obsession, we wouldn't even have known what the Quang were up to until it was too late. Where'd he go, anyway? Vampire Movie Marathon's on next! Better study up, dudes. This stuff is important. Raf, come on, we're supposed to be sparring. It's King of the Hill, Leo. It's like sparring. Hmm, and it's a great defense exercise, too. You're on. Get ready to defend. Oh, I'm ready. Huh? I thought you were going to defend the hill. You know what they say. Leo, the best defense is a good offense. Walked into that one. Just like you're walking into this. Ooh. Huh, that's what you get. You don't always have to be on the attack, you know. It's stupid to... Leonardo! Raphael! Yame! There was no reason to insult your brother, Leonardo. Raphael is naturally more aggressive, but this complements the more cautious approach you and the others take. That said, Raphael, you don't have to charge every opponent. You are not a bull. You are all very different, but this makes you a more effective team. Sorry, Sensei. But we can discuss this another time. April has brought something to my attention. Yeah, I got some pictures on my phone. Oh, wow! Is this a Y238? It is! You have such awesome taste in tech! There's just so much to love about you! Uh, about it. Um, right. Let's just look at the pictures. Uh, I don't see what's so urgent about these. Nice hair in that last one, though. <laughs> those colors are tight! Not those. This is what I saw. Up around one-tenth. A foot ninja. I would have tried to find out more. But the bus driver wouldn't let me off. It's weird, right? I agree that this should be investigated. But you must be wary. Do not rush into anything blindly. You guys need to stop looking at me like that. I can bring you right to where I saw him. You will stay here, April. It is far too dangerous. But I can handle myself. I can... Perhaps we can work on your reaction time while they investigate. Okay, yeah, that might be a good idea. Don't feel bad, April. That still happens to Mikey almost every week. You wouldn't think it's bad if you got to try it. Enough, guys. We've got a ninja to find. Let's go. This is taking too long. How many allies we got to look down anyway? Who knows? Ninjutsu is the art of invisibility. Come on, the guy let his picture get taken. How invisible is he going to be? <laughs> Maybe he's new. Guys, wait. I think I see him. What's he doing? He's just kind of creeping around. Creeping around in an evil way. Yes, Mikey. In an evil way, he's obviously up to something. Let's find out what. Ah, uh, breaking into a grocery store, dude. I mean, if you're hungry, I can totally point you to an awesome pizza joint on the next block. They have waffle crust there. Waffle crust! Also, it's really not a good idea to try breaking into buildings around here. Just ask the purple dragons. Of course, you'd have to actually talk first. What the? Whoa! He's called in reinforcements! Yeah, and more of them! That's what I... Oh, forget it. Uh, quit whining. We'll be done with this in no time. Be careful, it's not a game this time. What? 
These guys are about as full of surprises as an empty glass. What the? Dude! Not cool! Those things could, like, put an eye out. No surprises, huh? Okay, fine. So blowing darts is new, but come on. We're way too fast for anything like that. Oh, nuts. Leo, I, I don't feel so good. Raph's been hit. We need to vanish, now! We have successfully tested the Kyusha Fruit Poison Master, and on one of the turtles, no less. You are wise to have us explore traditional poisons of the Foot Clan. The Kyusha darts will give us quite an edge on our enemies. Was the turtle destroyed while we had an advantage, Dog Pound? Er, uh, no, but, but... They, they have no chance of making an Anadol Master. We've got almost all the Kyusho in the city. Only a few small grocery stores in Little Japan have anything left in. And almost is not all. The Turtles will seek to cure their injured brother. And Splinter will know not only what is required, but where to find it. And the stores in Little Japan are the first place he will look. This gives us an opportunity. We need to know what they need, and where they will likely go to find it. Keep them from getting what they're after, and we will permanently weaken them. Now go, and if the opportunity to destroy the others presents itself, with pleasure, Master. You're back. Is not straight. It can't get any straighter. Can't? Next you will tell me that four mutated turtles can't become masters of ninjutsu. What? What has happened? We were attacked. Raphael was hit by one of these. <laughs> what is it, Sensei? Poison, my son. One I had thought lost. Fortunately, it does not kill, but it has undone many a ninja, left untreated. It will permanently destroy one's sense of balance. Also, it causes vivid hallucinations. What? Can you cure him, Sensei? I will need certain things to make an antidote. And I will need them soon. If Raphael is not cured within the next two hours, he will never fight again. Tell us what you need then, and we'll get it. Okay, all that's left is to get the Kyoso fruit. And that's the only other place Splinter thinks it would be. So let's find it and get home. The clock is ticking. Okay, wait. What does this Kyosu stuff look like again? Seriously, Mikey, I told you at the last place. I was distracted by a pineapple and kielbasa frozen pizza. I'm not made of stone, dude. And besides, this place has a lot of fruit. <sighs> it looks like a lemon. A striped lemon. That can't be hard to miss. Stripes, huh? Ah, oh, here's one with polka dots. Oh, wait, no, that's mold. Hey, I got one! Perfect. And best of all, we don't need to run into the... Foot... Clan. We're surrounded. Aw, oh, you jinxed us, dude! Oh, just... Just look for another way out. Okay, but the jinx is still on you. No vent access up here, Leo. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way to sneak out, dude. There has to be a way out that we're just not seeing. Wait, I know what's missing. We're being too cautious. Splinter said our different perspectives make us more effective, and we're all thinking the same way. Maybe we should try thinking like Raph does. Think like Raph? Um... Let's punch something in the face! What would Raph do? Something direct? Yeah, something direct, and surprising, and totally crazy! Wow! It's like you're in his brain. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? How much do you weigh? <laughs> That's it! They're using up all their ammo! Why did you pick me for this part again? Because Leo wouldn't have had nearly as much fun doing this! Okay, you're right! Woohoo! <laughs> That's it! Don't give them a chance to reload! Easier said than done. Still. This could be going a lot worse. Maybe there's something to be said for being a bit more aggressive. I've always thought so. Dog Pound? 
You turtles aren't going anywhere. Yikes. You can't stop us. We're too fast for... Hey! Give that back. Or what? Are you going to make me? You're no match for me when there are four of you. Raph may not be here, but if you think that makes us weaker... <laughs> I'd be right. I know what you came here for, turtles. You aren't getting it. Alright guys, think. What would Raph do here? Ah! Yeah! Are you kidding me? Such a clumsy attack. I expected better. I'm actually embarrassed for you. A ninja should have more fineness than that. A ninja! My foot! What did you... Uh, you... You hit me with a Kyushu dart? Right on. The first try. I don't feel so good. Looks like there's even more to Raph's approach than I thought. Not that I'll ever admit that to him. Boo. <laughs> Got the bag back. Good. Now let's double time it back to the lair. And get Raph cured. Look at him. Do you think it's getting worse? Yes. <clears throat> They're right, you know. You look positively green, Morty. Don't worry, Raph. The guys will be back soon. <laughs> Sooner than soon! And in the nick of time, am I right? Uh, I don't know what's worse. Seeing Leo as freaky giant chicken, or the taste of whatever it was that I just drank. What's in this stuff anyway? It smells like feet. There are no feet in it. This is an improved recipe. We're just glad you're okay, dude. No hugging. I just don't get how you guys managed to deal with the dog pound without me. You may not have been there, my son. But your brothers were never without you. In fact, if not for... Is he... did he fall asleep? He has been through quite an ordeal. But don't worry, it will be much easier for the rest of you. I'm sorry, Sensei. Did you say the rest of us? Of course. The antidote will also inoculate you against the Kyoso poison. So, you will all be taking it. This stuff smells disgusting. That's how you know it's ready. Psst, guys. Think what would the raft do? 